Today's daily dose of math is about the flip. The flip is called a reflection in math. In the example on the left, we have a black hexagon, and then the mirror line is shown in orange. A reflection of the hexagon across the mirror line would look like this other hexagon. But how do we draw something like this? Let's look at our second example. We have a red square and we have named the corners of the square, its vertices, A, B, C, and D. We also have an orange mirror line. To reflect this square across the mirror line, what I want to do is take a ruler and measure the distance from one of the vertices to the mirror line. I make sure the edge of the ruler is perpendicular to the mirror line. Then I double that distance and I'm going to put a reflection of that vertex on the opposite side. It'll be the same distance from the mirror line as the original vertex but on the opposite side. The easiest way to do this is to draw a line from the vertex through the mirror line and then twice as far on the other side. If I do this with all four of the vertices I have lines that look like this. I can put a dot at the end of each of these four lines and then I can connect the dots to draw my reflection. I have another square which is a reflection of the first square. To show what is the original and what is the copy I will also label the vertices of the copy. But I use the same letters with prime symbols. A, B, C, D is the original square and A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime is the copy of the square. It's reflection across the mirror line. This is the flip, a reflection in mathematics, and it is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.